Welcome back, Melissa here from Morgan's Off The Leash. Today is Firearm Fashion Friday. Right now, I'm shooting a Ruger 1022. I have something bigger I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes. All right, we're out here where we set up our targets, but this is a 50 yard range. And three weeks ago, daughter Hannah and Tyler were married right here. Mike built this arbor, which we had uh, several names for it, but right now we're transforming it into back to our shooting range. In the corner you'll see the decoration that was a beautiful flower arrangement made for the wedding day. And it was a beautiful wedding, but it's also a beautiful range. And we're gonna make that transformation now. I'm gonna show you what I'm shooting here. These are Otter Reset 22 long rifle. We have them here at the range, we like them. Start left to right, they all stick up, shoot the top, it releases them. Pretty nice. And hence the, hand, the spray paint, it's upside down marking paint. When these get marked up with the shots, depends how good you are, you're gonna need a can to just spray a little dab on each one. Okay, so the target, do all outdoors, 22 caliber, auto reset, rifle handgun, rifle target, sturdy, steel, single shot, Reset targets, stabilizing ground spikes, all in this box. Got these on Amazon, and um, I'll do my best to put the link in the description of this video. All right, we're gonna move from 22 to 12 gauge. I got the Mike Morgan clap, I'm ready. I'm not gonna set the targets up top because uh, as you see the lights, that's just too high for the backstop. So I'm gonna arrange something, I'll show you. All right, just went down below and got a two before. This was in the stack that uh, Mike's cut on the sawmill. And here, look at that. The two befores are really four inches. All right, I'm gonna cut an eight footer here. We're gonna screw it to the arbor and we'll set some targets on. I'm going to just show you a quick overhead squat with my two before, hold it up high. My feet are placed right below my shoulders width apart. Just squat down. You want to keep everything straight and not collapsing in when you get down for a squat. So you're pushing through on the way up with your butt and down. Overhead squat. If you've watched any of my uh, videos, other videos, you'll see that I do a couple workout videos at the gym, some here in the driveway at home, our own garage, you know. It's just good 
Motion is lotion. Keep moving. I also want to show you, let me put this down. All right. I call it Firearm Fashion Friday just for uh, fun. Firearms, you're always serious, but um, I can't help myself just to make fun of my own little fashion because there's very little of none. My kids say I'm not out of style. They just say I don't have any style. Thanks. So this kind of had a theme of um, what we're shooting next. A little 80s, has a little 80 in there, that's a hint. So I looked for some acid wash from the 80s and I was thinking of wearing like fluorescent, you know, the gloves, the whole Madonna. Remember that back in the 80s? Anyone? Comment down below if you remember the 80s. But here's the fashion for Firearms Friday. All right, my shirt came from one of our favorite national parks, Yellowstone, love it, hope to get back there. Just some uh, jeans I got I actually didn't buy these at the secondhand store like most of my other jeans. Yeah, I paid more than I wanted to, but I liked them. And uh, sadly, yes, I did buy them with the fashionable tears in the knees. It helps with my squat. And uh, my little, I don't know, do you call these chucka boots? Did anyone ever call them chucka boots? When I was a kid, my sister wanted like a moon boot is what they look like, but they were called chucka boots. So any ankle boot, it's an ankle boot from Ariat. Check them out. I call a check boot. Yeah. I should have brought a clamp with me, but I have it nice and level. Okay. Got my jugs. At some point, I'm going to put a board across the top to keep them nice and level. Right now, I'm just going to balance strategically the Sprite bottles. So we quit drinking Sprite. No, I'm kidding. We did drink Sprite. This is, these, these are empty. I filled them with water. I think I'll space this one down here. All right. Let me see. Look at that. Perfect. All right, the first shotgun I'm shooting is a Mossberg 930 SPX. We've had this for about six years. It's a 12 gauge. Go. Some double watt buckshot. Mike bought a bunch of this on Midway USA. I'm glad he did. We're going to use some today. All right. You can see I put a piece of white cardboard up here. Going to mount that there. Just going to see what the pattern is with this buckshot. All right. You can see here is where the wad went through. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots right here. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do four rapid fire, but I'm still gonna try to hit the whiteboard. I'm not sure how well you can see from the camera view, but the mulch brought up some dirt. So it's a nice backstop it's going into, but um, yeah, I think the mulch and the dirt, it was celebrating my shooting. It's like a, a dirt mulch firework. And we have the whiteboard, you know, just this box, white box that hung up here. It's got holes all through it. Kind of reminds me of like a dot to dot or um, when I was a kid, I used to have that little board with sewing. You had like a shoelace and you learned to sew through these holes. And then it made like a kitty cat or something. But I might have to take this into my sewing room. All right. All right, now we have a 12 gauge, another tactical shotgun. This is from Rock Island Armory. I like it. It feels good. I pulled up. I noticed it's a little longer but feels fine with my stance, my pulling it snug to me. It has the flip up sights. I love the color. And um, it's got a big thumb hole here. You want something you can just hug and pull tight. You know, no one likes to hug a stick. 
All right, this is the VR80. I've got a five round mag. Right. Look at that. And it's wet out here. It's like it rained. Okay. So the Sprite bottles blew apart. And you can see the whiteboard. Just a white box. Got shots all through it. This buckshot just destroys it. Okay, both of these are good for home defense, um, three gun shoot. I, um, I like both of them, but I am more comfortable with handguns and rifles, so I definitely need to shoot these more often. This was fun. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you like what I'm giving you. Uh, the Firearm Fashion Friday, I'm gonna try to be more um, at least once a month, if not twice a month. And uh, here at Morgan's Off the Leash, it's the element of surprise. You'll learn to like it, promise me. All right, make sure you're subscribed, click the thumbs up, comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you on the next one, thanks.